is trying to prove that she's not breaking a sweat. No matter how much heat her family takes, she's certainly found an interesting way to do it. The 35-year-old was spotted leaving her home in Washington, D.C. today, where the temperature is currently in the low 80s, in a seasonally appropriate floral skirt by Dolce & Gabbana. But she teamed the summery piece with a warm long sleeve blouse, marking her third time donning heavier clothing in the past week and a half. Surprisingly, Ivanka didn't seem uncomfortable in the covered-up sweater as she left her home this morning, though she was only outside for a matter of moments before stepping into an air-conditioned car. She also picked a leg-bearing skirt Dolce & Gabbana to beat the heat, accessorizing with nude pumps and mirrored sunglasses. This is the third time in just 10 days that Ivanka has headed out in long sleeves even with D.C. temperatures getting quite high. On June 12, she wore a $3,000 Alexander McQueen dress with long, buttoned sleeves, a high collar, and a below-the-knee hem. And on June 14, she picked a white Escada number with three-quarter length sleeves. Though most people would be hot in such frocks during the summer, Ivanka spends much of her time indoors at the air-conditioned White House, where most of the other people running around are men. A 2015 study found that the standard formula for office air conditioning was calibrated for men's bodies, not women's, which often results in women being quite cold in office settings. Ivanka did wear a short-sleeve dress on Tuesday, however, when she made headlines for an awkward-looking photo taken with Senator Marco Rubio. She was at the Capitol to meet with lawmakers to talk about parental leave when she was greeted by Rubio, who went in for a hug, though it appeared in the picture that Ivanka did not reciprocate. Both parties have denied that Rubio's hug was rejected, though with Ivanka calling the senator an excellent hugger and Rubio crafting his own Twitter statement, which also took a dig at her father. Based on review of evidence and my own recollection, have concluded no hug was even attempted, and press Kofif of alleged failed hug is false, he wrote. Photographers last caught the first daughter leaving her home on Monday, when she wore a blue Jason Wu dress with her three-year-old son Joseph in tow. She accessorized with large pearl earrings and sunglasses, wearing her long blonde hair up in a messy bun at the top of her head. Sh she also added a few items from her own line, sporting $135 nude heels and a $225 nude handbag. Although it's unclear where she was going with her son, who had finished school a few weeks before, the little boy looked ready to play in a Ralph Lauren striped polo shirt, navy Ralph Lauren shorts, and Velcro sneakers. At one point, Joseph looked upset, and he clung to his mom when they first walked out the door together. Ivanka was holding her little boy's hand before she escorted him towards the SUV that was waiting outside for them. While Ivanka and her eldest son were seen leaving the side gate of their home, her husband Jared Kushner was photographed walking out the front door, carrying a pile of files and folders under his arm. The 36-year-old advisor to President Donald Trump donned a gray suit, white button-down, and a blue tie, flashing a quick smile at the photographers waiting for him as he stepped inside the SUV that was at the curb. Ivanka watched her husband speak at the inaugural meeting of the American Technology Council, which was held in the Indian Treaty Room at the Eisenhower Executive Office Building next door to the White House on Monday afternoon. The White House Office of American Innovation is hosting a series of working sessions to generate ideas to transform and modernize government services. The opening session of the meeting with CEOs in the technology sector marked the start of Technology Week, and Ivanka was photographed listening intently to Jared as he addressed the audience. Trump is trying to prove 